Hi everyone and welcome to FICO Mathematics. If you're new here, you're highly welcome. And um, if you're not new, thank you. I want to believe you all are following, I have subscribed to my channel. If you have not, what are you waiting for? Okay, this is our equation one that we want to solve. This is equation two. And we're going to solve this simultaneously. Okay, now from equation one, where we have x plus y equals 20, we can generate our equation three. Let x be equal to 20 minus y. And then we call this equation three. Immediately we have our value of y, we'll come back and put it into this equation three. Right? Now, but now, since equation 1 gave birth to equation 3, let's put this value of x in equation 3 into equation 2 now. Our equation 2, x, y equals 20. Now, our x is 20 minus y. Then, into y, there's y outside this particular one. This is equal to 20. 20 times y is 20y, minus y times y is minus y squared, and that is equal to 20. Now what should I do? Rearrange so that this will appear first, minus y squared plus 20y, because this is positive. And I've not changed anything, it's just that I wrote this one before this one. And it, it doesn't change anything because if you have minus 2 plus 4, it's the same thing as 4 minus 2. Okay, what just happened here is like this. If you are using multiplication or, um, okay, if you're using multiplication or addition, you know, the one that comes first does not matter. But if it is subtraction and division, the one that comes first matters. So this came first. This is following up. Then everything is equal to 20 from here. Now, let's make sure we remove this negative. So we multiply everything here by negative 1. That will give us positive here. To make this one to be negative 20y. And then it to make this to be negative 20. So we're going to bring this to the left. So we have y squared minus 20y plus 20 equals 0. Minus 20 becomes 20 on the right. So we have a quadratic equation and we're going to solve this using the um, quadratic formula. So the formula is y equals um, minus b, okay, this is minus b, plus or minus square root of b squared, minus 4ac, everything is over 2 times a. Mind you, our a is 1, that is the coefficient of y squared, our b is minus 20, and then c is 20, the constant. Let's put this into the formula so that y will now be minus minus 20 because b itself is minus 20 plus or minus we have minus 20 in brackets squared then minus 4 times 1 a is 1 then times 20 because c is 20. So everything is over 2 times 1. To continue, y will now be negative, negative is positive, so we write 20 plus or minus. Minus 20 squared is going to give us 400. Then 4 times 20 is 80. So we divide the whole of this by 2. 2 times 1 is 2. So y now will be 20 plus or minus square root of 320 and we divide by 2 
you know, there are a couple of perfect squares as a factor of um, 320. Okay, um, 1 is a perfect square there, 4 is a perfect square there, even 16 is there. Okay, so now let's see the highest perfect square there. Y will be 20 plus or minus. Um, square root of 320 can be um, 64. 64 multiplied by 5. Yes, because 64 times 5 is 320. And 5 is not a perfect square, so we are good. To continue, we now have Y to be 20 plus or minus square root of 64 is going to be 8 then we multiply it by root 5 so we have 8 root 5 then we divide this by 2 now what do I do? 2 can go into 20, 2 can go there so y now will be 2 into 20 is 10 plus or minus square root oh, not square root yet 2 can go into 8 and that is 4 then we have square root of 5 this is 2 in 1 so it's either y is 10 plus 4 root 5 or 10 minus 4 root 5 okay like I told you once we have this we'll go back to equation 3 where we had x to be equal to 20 minus y so let's work with the first value of y x will now be 20 minus 10 in brackets plus 4 root 5 if you fail to put this bracket you will be wrong because everything in this bracket is y now x will now be 20 minus 10 minus 4 root 5 the negative will open this bracket and then our x will now be 20 minus 10 is 10 minus 4 root 5 so what do we do we are saying that when x is equal to 10 minus 4 root 5 y is equal to um y is equal to look at it over there Okay, as a matter of fact, everything here is for y, so y will now be 10 plus 4 root 5, right? And then if you go to the other, especially if you have this kind of value, remember we had another value of y, which is 10 minus 4 root 5, right? So we can even conclude that when y, let me write x first, when x becomes 10 plus 4 root 5 y will now be 10 minus 4 root 5 so if you get this you have solved everything into detail thank you for watching if you if you have not subscribed please subscribe so you can get more of my videos now I got these two value using the same method I used to get this particular one so there's no big deal and I hope you understand.